Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Wiggy, and I tried survived by a bullet hell MMO. I know, a strange theme for an MMORPG. Now, after watching the Steam trailer, I knew I just had to try out this game. I mean, just listen to it, guys. It's hilarious. Something dark has emerged from the depths of the earth, changing even the cute and cuddly into the damned and deadly. It is up to you and set forth on an epic journey. Sh oh my god, this thing gets me every single time I watch it. That narrator needs a raise. Anyway, this MMO has permadeath. And when you do eventually die, your journey is continued by your descendant in a bullet hell. A game that's designed around trying to constantly get you on the edge of death. It's perfect for me, especially since that's generally how I always play things as I have a high death rate. Be it from falling, tripping, exploring high level areas, slipping over, getting ganked by monsters, accidental self-deaths. You know the normal things that happen to me? If you've watched any of my gameplays, you would have noticed that I have a tendency of dying a lot and this game is all about death. So I thought it was perfect. Really, at this point, I should rename myself to a Dead Wiggy or the Constantly Near Dead Wiggy. But anyway, I digress. After seeing the very beautifully done trailer, I decided to download it and see whether or not this game was as good as the trailer showed it to be. And keep in mind, before I get any further, this is an early access game. Anyway, let's get to it. First of all, if you weren't aware, based on all of the footage that you have seen thus far, it is an isometric pixel MMO with a fairly large number of people based on what I saw at the beginning. And again, because it is a bullet hell and it does have pixel graphics, it is very niche. So I do expect not a whole lot of people to find this interesting. But as I am easily entertained, I had a fun time whilst trying out this game in a frustrating way. Kind of like when you're playing Overwatch. You hate to love it and love to hate it at the same time. So allow me to explain Survived By. It's a rather hard game and as it is a bullet hell, each and every area, monster and encounter is designed to kill you. And if it ever does manage to succeed in your eventual murder, you will be reborn as a brand new character. So dying isn't such a bad thing in this game. Heck, it's even somewhat rewarding as some of the perks you get by dying is valor. Valor being something you can use to upgrade your gear. It is also used to transfer your ancestral equipment to the next generation because I mean who would want to lose their epically upgraded sword just because you died against that one random creature that decided to poke you in the ass. A crazy person, that's who. Anyway, besides gaining valor points, you also gain cards that function function as buffs. These buffs will make your next character even stronger. So in essence, the more times you die, the more valor you will gain and the more awesome little cards you can upgrade. I mean, it's a pretty vicious cycle of life, death, and rebirth, but it's strangely addictive and it's a really interesting model for a game. Now while Survive By is an MMO, it's somewhat empty in terms of features as there's not a whole lot to do other than grind to get stronger, craft to get stronger, and die to get stronger in this game. There's also a serious lack of quests within the game or at least what I could see during my game time playing. So I could see this game becoming, no pun intended, a grind to participate in. Even at times seeming completely pointless. Besides grinding against normal monsters you see in the open world and exploring the regions because yeah you can go explore and see all the sites if you can try and not die. There are also dungeons and raids to participate in and even some daily quests but with no real questing direction or progression outside of grinding, again, it seems like you're left to your own devices to decide how you're gonna progress through the game and I can see this becoming kind of boring. And to me, whilst I initially had fun playing this game and its challenging combat, I too quickly became bored. So if I had to tell you my experience whilst playing Survived By, it is an interesting MMO and definitely something you can keep your eye on since it is early access and there are things that can change but at least for me, it's not very long lasting. I personally lost interest in this game pretty fast after playing once I realized there wasn't a whole lot of different things you can do. But I would love to know what you guys think about Survived By because this is of course my personal opinion and I understand it is a niche title besides that. I hope you all have a fantastic day, night or afternoon, wherever it is where you are and I'll be seeing you guys next time. 
If you'd like to stay updated with everything and anything MWRPG related, do not forget to check out our website or our personal channels at Stix's Bay and Wiggy the Heroic. 